Welcome back to the Summer Rain channel. Today we're going to make do-it-yourself bath melts. Um, if you haven't done so already, be sure to hit the subscribe button down below. I post a new video every week. I also post a link to my blog where I go more in depth about all of the ingredients, why we use them, and all of that jazz. Let's go ahead and make our bath melt. Let's go ahead and take a look at our ingredients. We have our cocoa butter, which is a hard, um, very brittle butter. We have shea butter, which is also solid at room temperature, but not nearly as hard. We have olive oil, and we have our polysorbate 80. Now the reason why we use polysorbate 80 is because it's the emulsifier. It's what's gonna mix the oils with the bath water so we don't have oils pooling on top. Um, and it's also gonna prevent some of that slippiness that you can get with a bath melt. Um, I'd still use caution because sometimes it can be slick, but this is gonna help prevent it. It's gonna allow the oils to mix into the bath water and our fragrance. I'm using a Mad About Mint because I'm going with a Christmas um, bath melt, but use any one that you'd like. So what we're gonna do is go ahead and combine all of our oils together in a heat safe container. Cocoa butter, shea butter, and our olive oil. And we'll go ahead and pop this on a double boiler until it's melted. Now that we have our oils melted, we're gonna go ahead, add our polysorbate 80. And at the same time, I'm gonna go ahead and add the fragrance oil. And then just go ahead and mix everything up. Now what I'm gonna do, and this is completely optional, I want some that are clear or white, and then I want some that are gonna be red, so I'm gonna put a little bit of my mixture in another container. Now the one that I want colored, I'm gonna add a few drops of coloring to it. Um, this is actually the bomb is what it's called, but it's made for bath bombs, and it will dye your tub water. Um, so just a few drops of the red will give you like a pinkish color bathtub. You can't really use micas to get that same effect because they're not going to dye the tub. Um, you'd have to use a whole lot of it. So we're going to go ahead and pour our bath melts into a silicone mold. I like to just put the silicone mold on a plate or a tray of some kind because I am going to cool it in the fridge. Now the reason why we do this is because shea butter will cool kind of grainy if it doesn't cool quickly because the fatty acids in it want to cool it at different temperatures. And then I'll go ahead and pour the red ones. And we'll go ahead and pop this in the fridge to cool. After your bath melts are done, you're just going to want to pull them out of the mold. And there you go, do it yourself bath melts.